up welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new so y'all right now we are starting a new weekend vlog i'm literally on my way out the door i'm about to go out with my sister and her friends and we're about to celebrate her birthday so y'all my sister turned 29 on tuesday if y'all watched my last vlog then y'all know we did go um out to eat for her birthday on her actual birthday but now we're about to do some you know party so we're supposed to be going to a hookah lounge it's out at the beach and then i think tomorrow we're also gonna be doing something but it's just gonna be her and i so yeah i'm actually really really excited to go out tonight y'all because i have not been out in a long time it seems like so real quick before i head out y'all i did my hair this morning and then y'all i did do my nails I did an entire full set of press-ons and they are absolutely bomb. This is like my favorite set out of all the ones I've ever done. I am gonna give y'all, of course, like a little close-up. And then, speaking of that, y'all, I am gonna be uploading a review on the Amazon press-on nails very, very soon. So, I just wanted to throw that out there. But yeah, I did my hair, I did my nails. What we do here is go back, 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 back. y'all so i just got back home from the hookah lounge the hookah spot was actually very lit which i was a little surprised by that because i hadn't really heard too much about that hookah lounge so i was like dang why hadn't i really heard about this and then they just was playing like straight hip-hop which normally the hookah lounge is here It'd be like a mixture like they'll play like a little hip-hop a little bit of this a little bit of that but y'all this place was just playing straight hip-hop i didn't really eat much of my food when i was there y'all know like i said i don't know why i do that i don't really get hungry until after i take my stuff home it's weird but yeah so i'm about to go ahead and take my makeup off get in the shower i'm finna eat and then y'all i'm about to actually get in the bed because me and my sister we supposed to be getting up in the morning and going somewhere we haven't really decided on where exactly we said we might either drive to daytona or orlando so we're gonna just figure it out and then y'all we're gonna just go hey y'all good afternoon so it's sunday and as y'all can see i'm already dressed i'm kind of in a rush y'all so i'm gonna make this really really quick i'm about to head to my sister's house and we're about to go to orlando so orlando is like two hours away from jacksonville and we're just about to ride up there and just you know spend the day in orlando and then we're gonna come right back so i'm not you know bringing no clothes or nothing i'm not doing none of that we literally just gonna go and come right back now we are gonna just be going to this restaurant that has really good drinks and food i know y'all probably heard of it it's called sugar factory i know they have one in miami and i know they have one in orlando i'm not sure if they have one in any other place so yeah if they do let me know in the comments down below i only know of the one in miami and orlando i've been to the one in orlando one time i really enjoyed it y'all they have some really good drinks and they're big and yeah so we just gonna go down there go to the sugar factory and just spend the day there they told us that the inside is completely reserved but they do have like an outside patio or we could sit at the bar so we just gonna do either or and yeah the last time we went y'all we had a really good time if y'all ever been to the sugar factory then y'all already know what's up so yeah i'm about to just grab my stuff and head out my sister's waiting on me okay y'all so i just got to my sister's house and i'm a little late but it's me but i'm gonna do better this year honestly y'all the problem is 
is that I move like a damn snail. It don't matter what it is that I'm doing because really all I had to do today was just do my makeup because my hair was already done, my nails was already done, and I already knew what I was wearing, yet I was still moving so slow. Then I ended up going all the way to the gas station, had to get some gas because last night when I left from my sister's house, I barely had any gas, and y'all, the whole time I was driving home, I was just crossing my fingers like, Lord, please don't let me run out of gas. Please don't let me run out of gas because it was like 2 o'clock in the morning and it was free and cold i was not finna get out of the car and get no gas so i went to go get some gas today y'all got to the pump and didn't even have my car i had to go back home and get my car that's what made me even more late so anyways i know i'm, I'm full of a lot of excuses we about to get ready to go it's now like two o'clock and um the gps said it's two hours and 17 minutes away so we should be getting there at four o'clock pretty much on the dot it said 404 but you know know how that go we'll probably get there like around like four o'clock exactly so the last time we went i remember um it was just a really good atmosphere i remember they had some really good music playing they had like pop music like ariana grande and stuff like that and i like that type of music too so they don't really have no hip-hop but they might have like the hip-hop that's on the radio like the you know the commercial hip-hop but not no hip-hop hip-hop so anyways it was a good little vibe so i'm gonna see y'all when i get there Okay, I didn't end out the vlog. I didn't come back and tell y'all, you know, anything after we left the restaurant, y'all, because I don't know, I was just really tired. And honestly, y'all, I was kind of drunk because I drank that whole glass of alcohol, that big old glass. I drank it, y'all, and I, I got pretty drunk. So, so yeah, by the time um I got back to Jacksonville, my little alcohol had done wore off because y'all know it's like a two hour you know drive so when we got back home it was around like nine o'clock and then i just came home got in the shower and i just went to sleep y'all because i was tired yeah so today is monday and y'all it's actually a martin luther king day so right now i'm off which is a very big surprise to me because y'all i've been at my job for four years almost four years four years will be in july so almost four years i've been at my job y'all and this is the first time that we've ever been off on martin luther king day crazy right i don't know why they never considered it a company holiday before but they just added it to the list so now it's a company holiday so anyways i'm just gonna be chilling today i just got dressed because I wanted to look presentable I wanted to vlog so I just have on this little black bodysuit and I have on these little pants or whatever I'm gonna show y'all 
a picture. I got to do better with taking my pictures and showing y'all my outfit of the days because I didn't really show y'all what I had on yesterday and I realized that. But I am going to insert videos and pictures so y'all can see what I had on. Basically, it was a two-piece set that I got from Shein. If y'all was watching me during Vlogmas, then y'all know I got this outfit during Vlogmas. And I showed it to you guys. So, that was me actually wearing it. And do y'all like the middle part? Because y'all know I was wearing it with the half up, half down. I just was like, yeah, I'm done with that look. I'm ready to do a middle part now. I'll wear it, but I'm not really like a big fan of side parts. I love, love, love middle parts. So, Fenty never, ever, ever disappoints. And I know I always say I'm using my Fenty Beauty, but I realize I never say the actual color of the gloss. And they do have different colors. So, the one that I'm wearing is the first one, the, the most popular one called Fenty Glow. really really pretty it's like just a nice nude muted gloss i think these glasses are not gonna work today because these lashes are so big maybe for a picture i can get a picture maybe but oh yeah they kind of irritate my eyes but yeah y'all so this is the um wig with the middle part I love a middle part, y'all. Like, seriously, I love a middle part. Okay, y'all, so I'm at Checkers. I'm gonna get, I'm just about to order it. Okay, um, can I get the, um, can I get an order of the funnel cake fries? And then, can I get one of the strawberry cheesecake sundaes? Yes, ma'am. 4.93. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, y'all. So I'm at. Let me roll this window up. Ooh, a lot of that stuff on there look good, but that's okay because I got food at the house. But yeah, y'all. So I don't came out here. Um, I was just riding around and i was like dang i really want something sweet like i want like some ice cream or something and it's cold outside so i know y'all probably like girl it's winter time but i eat ice cream year round i don't know if that's a thing like if people don't eat it around the winter time i don't know i'm just saying like i eat it year round okay so they got this little um strawberry cheesecake sundae y'all and it's so good and i'm obviously gonna get some funnel cake fries we call it checkers what y'all call it do y'all call it checkers or rallies i don't understand what the difference is if it's the same place i don't get why it's like two different names can somebody like inform me on that like why is it two different names if it's like the same establishment okay y'all so i got y'all on the mountain do y'all feel like i should get in some shade so y'all can see me better because the sun is out today which don't get me wrong i ain't complaining about it but i just think maybe if i go maybe by by this pole well i'm by a pole right here and it's still a lot of well because the sun okay let me let me get this together y'all i'm gonna try to get somewhere with some better lighting so y'all can really see me <laughs> y'all that's the damn same thing okay hold on maybe if I park right here can you see okay this is what I'm gonna do hold on I'm getting this together y'all hold on hold on hold on wait let me just pull right here. And y'all, I'm literally right in front of a police station. Okay, yeah, that's better. See? That's better. Yes, that's better. Do I look greasy though? Anyways. Okay, yeah, so that's much better. I'm finna show y'all my food, but first, let me use some hand sanitizer and i'm literally right in front of a police station y'all like is police cars like all in front of me so 
good thing I am a law abiding citizen period so y'all I got this Sunday oh my gosh y'all look at this dang on Sunday y'all mmm I don't know if y'all can see it got like graham cracker crust at the freaking bottom okay y'all I'm sorry I was looking I was doing I was being a little slow I had it over okay, here you can see it better right here look y'all mmm Ugh, so freaking good and then some funnel cake fries and it got a bunch of the little sugar on it and then y'all I know it's really really hot because I just seen her taking it out the grease so they fresh y'all this is so good like seriously oh my goodness basically it got graham cracker crust at the bottom ice cream and strawberry in the middle more graham cracker right here in the middle and then it got like this little cheesecake stuff on top mm, 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 mm. it don't make no sense for this to be so good y'all seriously hold on real quick let me eat some more and i'm gonna come back Mmm. Mmm. So y'all, um, the sugar factory was really fun yesterday. After I drank that big old drink, y'all, I was really drunk. And I was so happy so happy that i didn't have to drive i feel like on road trips it always seemed like when you on the way there it takes a lot longer but then when you going back home it just go it go by so quick i don't know why but sugar factory was fun and if y'all know anything about orlando y'all know that's like a really big tourist place so it was a lot of people there y'all even in the midst of the pandemic and i know what y'all gonna say please don't be looking at me crazy i know we in the middle of a pandemic but y'all i just been so stuck in the house florida as a whole we just gotta do better and i'm definitely including myself i mean if y'all watch my channel y'all know i don't really go out a lot and when i do go out it's every now and then and when i say out i mean like to like a big gathering like y'all know i do go like you know around my mama house a lot my auntie house you know but i mean like large gatherings y'all compared to some people i know i've been doing good because some people have been just living like nothing is going on and honestly i had my mask on yesterday but y'all know at a restaurant it's like damn near impossible to keep your mask on the whole time like literally but yeah i just hope all this stuff is in the past very very soon and while we on the subject y'all what do y'all think about this vaccine because my personal opinion is i don't think that people should be forced to take it i don't feel like that's right especially because this is just a vaccine that y'all just pretty much came up with like y'all ain't really did no real test runs and i think they need to own um, work on it some more and test it out before they just start trying to force people to take something like to me i just feel like that's real sketchy i don't like that and then i was hearing people say that like schools are saying like in order for the kids to go back to school they have to take the vaccine and i just feel like as a parent nobody should be able to tell you what you should do with your child especially something that serious I feel like when you have a child it's your responsibility to watch over that child and make sure that child is okay so to force your child to take a vaccine that you don't even know a hundred percent that you're not even a hundred percent sure about i feel like that's so messed up because god forbid a child was to get sick behind this damn vaccine i don't even want to go there i was watching some video on instagram and this lady she was like giving her opinion on the vaccine and she was just saying like as a parent she's really um 
like nervous about what this might do to her child she she feel like you know forget me i don't live my life and i'm old now but what about my child like what if this does something to my child and i'm being forced to you know give this to her and you know at the end of the day if something was to happen to her it's gonna be left on me because i'm the parent not you know the government who is saying you got to get to see your child y'all when i was listening to that i was like dang like i really understand that like I really understand that. I feel for any parent that got to think about that right now. I just went off on a little tangent. This is how much ice cream I got. I'm going to actually take this home and pop it back in the freezer. Because you see all this graham cracker at the bottom. You got to know I'm not going to throw that away, right? Okay, so. And then I still have a little bit of these left. So, y'all, right now, it is probably around five i can't really tell because i have my car turned off and i'm vlogging with my phone y'all already know i use my phone so i'm actually about to drive right over in this plaza and go to this um smoke shop and i'm finna get me some shisha shishka whatever it's called and then i think i'm just gonna relax for the remainder of the day my love is deep but you fine Oh, the lighting is good right here, too. The sun's starting to go down, y'all. So, the lighting is looking a little bit better because the sun's starting to go down. It ain't so bright. Honestly, y'all, I'm actually about to stop smoking hookah. So, mark my words, this is going to be my last time buying any type of hookah, anything. Because, y'all, I don't want to... I don't want to smoke hookah all the time. I feel like that's an occasional, like it's it's for an occasion, you know, but I have me a little small hookah and I don't smoke all the time, but then I go sit at my mama house a lot and then she smokes hookah. So I'm smoking a hookah. Then I have one at my house. Then if I go to my sister house, she has one. It's like, I can't get away from it. But yeah, I think I want to, um, you know, let this be the last time because I don't want to have all that tobacco in my system like that like seriously so i don't want to do it what are some of y'all guilty habits um or bad habits if they're illegal then i guess don't comment <laughs> child do not comment nothing under my page that got anything to do with legal activity because like i told y'all before i am a law abiding citizen so yeah, let me go in here and get my stuff. Um, I really hope I have this mask because I think they're really picky about not having no mask, which, you know, they should be, but child, them folks yesterday didn't even ask us if we had a mask. Okay, here it is. I'm glad that I had enough sense to put it up. I thought I had left it at home. so. I'm about to go in here, y'all, grab this hookah, and I will be right back, okay? Okay, y'all, so I was just real in and out. I didn't even vlog. I mean, I literally just went right in and came right out within, like, minutes. So, I just want to show y'all what I got. I got this um, mojito flavor. It was only $3.99, and this one right here by my house, they do like a three-pack for $9.99, so it's actually better to get the three-pack, but like I just told y'all, I'm not doing this no more after this pack, so I didn't want to get three, so I'm just going to do this one little pack and call it a day, and this is the mojito flavor, and then I got one small pack of Kohl's, so yeah. So now I'm about to just go back home, y'all. Right now, it is actually... 5 50 so i was right it's around like six o'clock now so yeah um y'all i think there's somebody i used to talk to <laughs> that is how long he about to go in this smoke shop i'm so glad i just left out that was one of my entanglements y'all mm-mm mm-mm Oh my gosh, y'all. He literally just walked 
in that smoke shop, y'all. That was one of my entanglements. I'm so glad I got out of there. Okay, y'all, let me go. See, that's the thing about damn Jacksonville. You gonna always run into somebody you know. All right, bye, y'all. All right, y'all, so I'm back home. I've been home for a while now. I done smoked my hookah. I done watched some old episodes of Love & Hip Hop. Y'all, those first two seasons of Love & Hip Hop New York was gold. Like, when I tell y'all that show was so raw and uncut when it was like Yandy, um, Chrissy, Kim Bella. Oh my gosh, y'all. I loved those first couple seasons of Love & Hip Hop. But yeah, I'm about to just go ahead and end out this vlog. I'm about to eat me something and then I'm going to start editing this video so I can get it posted by tomorrow. I want to make sure I have it up by Tuesday night and then I'm going to start a new vlog right after. So yeah, I'm about to just go ahead and end the vlog here. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give your girl a thumbs up and drop me some comments down below. As always, I really, really appreciate y'all for watching and I will see y'all in my next vlog. Peace.